The craziness has returned here on ASU TV. What the Howl is back for season two. We're bigger, we're better, we're crazier than ever. Good evening, everyone. I'm Caleb Phillips, and joining me right here on the stage is Drew Bradbury, Mary Cobb, and Matt Morgan. All right, so we're going to start with a recap of the summer. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about the, tr the, the upset of the year, the Casey Anthony trial. Oh. <laughs> Not guilty of murder. And I will say that at this point in time, Nancy Grace then exploded in anger. Nancy Grace is no more. What? What the hell? What? <laughs> she was, I mean, I'm oh not my that I'm, you know, sad, but what? It was after this case. Oh. Yeah, she, uh, she, she just, heard the verdict and she just lost it. Ballistic. Gone. Oh, so she exploded. Oh, yeah, she, yeah, she, she, like she really, oh, like, she really blew out into millions, millions of pieces. We only talk about facts. I thought you were talking about no, her in existence. Oh, she was obliterated from the world. <laughs> so, so what do we think about this? So, is she guilty or was she not guilty? What, what's going on with this? I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? What I'm the so upset about Nancy Gray. <laughs> rest in peace. Rest in peace, girl. Rest in peace. We, we the West and go. I'm sorry. Casey Anthony is so guilty. I don't know. I mean, she's. I shouldn't say that because um, I'm so serious. I think we have a good uh, system of uh, government, and she was proven innocent or not proven guilty. So we're not right. saying that she's innocent, but saying that she not wasn't proven guilty. Guilty. I think that's a good thing. I mean, the the prosecution just couldn't really build a case further than circumstantial evidence, and that's that is the upset. They just couldn't get the case against her. Mm. Sad day. Just for clarification, Nancy Grace is now on Dancing with the Stars. <gasps> oh, oh, she's Ew. moved up then, I guess. Oh right? man. <laughs> So sure apparently they're getting a little dancer. desperate. Christy Alley, now Nancy Grace. Next topic. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? All what right. What the hell, Nancy Grace? So if you walked outside any time this summer, you were hit by a, what, 110 heat index? Oh, it was hot. Like oh seriously? <laughs> it was hot. It was hot. Mm -hmm. It's like someone opened up Hell's doors and just Shoved let it in. out. <laughs> so, God, what do we think about this? Like the hottest summer since. 17 or 1975 since, <laughs> since before independence since, before, <laughs> since the, the heat of the revolution um, <laughs> <laughs> it had to get real hot then yeah, with, the, all the with the wigs and the coats and the <laughs> tights and the jeez yeah you're right so what are we what are we complaining about <laughs> that's real. true We're good. i didn't experience any of this i got to move and do this strange theater thing in ohio this summer mm -hmm. and so i had like 70 degree weather like every day at nighttime no mosquitoes. You go outside and there's a cool breeze and you can just be outside. <laughs> That's and wonderful. Not feel like you're dying. I'm I so almost, happy for you. Oh, it was nice. I'm so happy. I almost happy jumped across this table and for you. I'm computer. very happy. <laughs> yeah, like Mr. Braggadocious over here. <laughs> oh, the way oh, I it was, it was good. It was I didn't, good weather. I didn't enjoy any of that. No. <laughs> I was like trying to I'm in an apartment now, so you know, no electricity used, so the air conditioner is completely off, and in, it's like a hot box where it's 117 outside. It, we're cooling off at 85 in, in our apartment. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's like, oh, great, it's 85 inside. Thank goodness. It's wonderful <laughs> <laughs> to get out of that heat. All I'm thankful is the air works. Thank you for AC. <laughs> HVAC people are gods. Mm -hmm. They're, in, they are, they do not they're Greek credit. gods. We, have, we the, applaud you. Yeah, they are much underappreciated. You come in togas to fix your air conditioner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving on. What the so, hell? we what are going points? to take a break, and we'll be back, and we're going to talk about gay marriage, Amy Winehouse, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You never know what's up. What the hell's up with us? What the, what hell? the hell? We'll see you right after this. Amazing. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of siblings in foster care who'll take you just as you are. I'm home and I love it. I'm home. I'm home where I belong. It's always nice to come home. 
but many Americans are at risk of foreclosure and losing their homes. Making Home Affordable from the U.S. government has already helped over a million struggling homeowners like these. The sooner you act, the better chance we can help you. I'm home. Keep innocent things from triggering an asthma attack. Please make the monsters go away. Learn how to stop their asthma attacks at noattacks.org. State University. One howl of an experience. Text HOWL to 74700. And welcome back to What the Howl. Now, on back in June, lawmakers in New York voted to legalize same sex marriage, making New York the largest state where gay and lesbian couples will be able to wed and give the national gay rights new momentum to the state where it's born, according to my sources. What do we think? Yay for gay rights. Yeah. That's a huge victory. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a big deal. Yeah. I think that's good stuff. It's, yeah. uh, it's a step in, um, I feel it's a step in a direction for human rights, and I think it's a positive direction. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong by allowing people to have freedom. Like, that, uh, it's, it's a shame that it's, it has to be a step. You know, the fact that it's a step is kind of a shame because, I mean, what's, why not just, Everywhere, it's okay, you know, but yeah. it's great. I mean, I understand that, you know, that's not going to happen realistically, but it's great that it, it has happened in New York and hopefully will spread. I'm glad that it did happen in mm -hmm. New York. It's the center of the universe. People look to New York City. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they go there for vacation. It's one of the most tourist attractive cities in the country, and uh, I think it's a positive thing for New York, and I think it's going to uh, do a lot of good for them. Sounds good. Also in my report, Greenwich Village, that night, drag queens took to the streets. <laughs> there was rainbows and parades, and it was just a celebration. And it's a good celebration. It's something that we finally need. I feel like we should play It's Rain and Men by the it's Weather Girls. It's Rain and Men. You're welcome. We were just a little off. I was we we apologize. <laughs> party that night. Yeah, was party. Yeah. Yeah. We assumed it was there, oh, ha, or ha. <laughs> possibly Lady Gaga's Born This Way. She caused a revolution. With her half motorcycle self? Isn't you know? she half oh, a yeah. motorcycle? It's something. Change. It's Lady Gaga. She's, She's you never know everything expect. and anything. Can we sidebar and talk about how old we feel about the last segment talking about weather? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we Easter talked about weather we, for like 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> okay, just break, a little exaggeration. We wanted to just make sure that. I just, wow, I'm just in college. Mm -hmm. yeah. We talked about the weather. How long did we talk about that? We talked about, about anything else. For a like long a good time. while. Mm -hmm. and we I'm wearing a card again. I think we talked about the weather. Now, and now it's like 50. Now right. it's wonderful. So, so, real quick, this is actually very recently. West Memphis 3 were free. According, what was it, the Alfred Law or something. Um, they pled guilty, but they got out on parole. Yeah, the way the, uh, the way the, U.S. government handled this one is uh, the three were tried in uh, Jonesboro, and to to get out after not having much evidence on them, they had to plead guilty to be let out of prison, and they um, they had ten more years to serve, I believe, and they don't have to do that, but they couldn't plead not guilty <laughs> and get out of prison. That's it's, good. It's one of those. It doesn't our system work? You plead guilty and then you go to jail? Well, I, I think in this one it's more of like a, we weren't wrong, right, though? Like, these people are guilty, right? But, but we'll let them go. They didn't yeah. have enough evidence. No, not at all. Guys were, <laughs> it, it, was, it was rough. Yeah. 
All right. Well, they're free now, and and Johnny Depp came to town. Johnny Depp was in Jones. Dixie Girl. Chick. What's her name? I mean, uh, Dixie Chick. No one knows who the Dixie Single, Chick is. The one that doesn't Hardler like the, the, pres the old the president. The one that hates President Bush. Oh. Well, <laughs> well, former president. There's only Ooh. one thing I can say to that, and that's we'll be back right after this. Today, the more you'll be able to reduce the devastating effects of a tornado, an earthquake, a power outage, or any other disaster. Get a kit, make a plan, be informed. Visit ready.gov. The magical thing about using energy wisely is that anyone can do it. Turn off lights. Use energy saving light bulbs. And Turn off computers and game systems when not in use. Make a change and we can really fly. Grab a grown-up and go online to energy.gov slash kids. There is also a very attractive extended warranty option that includes free service and parts for the next five years. But there's no need for you to get that. You failed to get the test you needed at the doctor that would have detected disease early enough where it could have been treated. So you won't be around in two years to see him grow up which means warranty would be useless. Okay, sign here, please. For a list of tests every man should have, go to ahrq.gov. Every student needs encouragement to finish high school. Go to boostup.org to give Reagan and the students in your community the boost they need to make it through. We are back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I could do, do that with a straight face. So every year, every, it seems like there's always some new viral video that we find on YouTube. Bed Intruder, the backing up song, and if you haven't seen the backing up song, please YouTube that because oh, it's God. hilarious. But recently, there is an old senior couple trying to work their webcam for the first time, and they didn't realize that it was recording the whole time, and their granddaughter posted it on YouTube. Take a look at just some of the shenanigans they went up to. No, look at the monkey. Did, I get, did it capture? Why did it just didn't take it? I put it on capture. That's a pretty good monkey. Oh, okay. Hmm. I didn't see it. I don't think oh, here, now, do it again. What does it say here? Take a photo snapshot. Okay. <laughs> hello, my darling. Hello, my baby. How long have <laughs> okay, I got to go? I have to go down the hall. I have to go say hi. I have to go down the hall. 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 I Sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Look at that. Oh, all the wrinkles up there and the cracks in my head. I, I can make it. I can give this to the doctor. I can make. Oh, it's perfectly alright. Take a series of photos. I was doing That's that. That's okay. And you can email these to selected media. But why can't? Why? Why want to take a picture? Take photo. Oh, go, dear. Uh, pardon me. I did it before by accident. Yeah. You're like me. You do more things by accident than yeah. you, most people do on purpose. That's what I... See, this is the one I took by mistake. Oh, there. I don't How'd know. you do that? I don't know. I'm trying to do it for you. See how pretty your hair is? Did you know? Yeah. How pretty your hair yeah. is. Just drop your dress a little bit. You see the difference? Uh -huh. Stop. 
<laughs> well, um, let's all hope that she keeps the dress on. <laughs> I'm sure in her prime she was a good-looking lady. I'm sure she still is. I'm sure she oh my still is. Could you imagine finding that, that video of your grandparents? And you're like, you know, things are things change. Times right, change. Yeah. You find dead cams and and you, you watch this video and it goes a little too far. I don't know. I, I think it's just right. I think it's adorable. I think it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> he is nice. He he comments on yeah, how lovely her hair is. And completely disregards them. Too. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Now, while you guys are watching this, um, we were laying over a voice track of what they should really be saying. So let's play part of the video again, and we're just going to let you know exactly what we were saying behind the scenes. <laughs> My new dentures make my mouth feel fun. Oh, like like a pumpkin. Monkey. At all? Pumpkin. Look, I got this gun. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy fruit. No, no. Flavor <laughs> never lasts long enough. Ever, oh, ever, ever. Oh, look at that. Uh, I love eating oh. mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently she can't she can't see anything on the computer. Oh, and it's he's tired at four o'clock. Why do they make these darn oh. things so small? <laughs> can't see. I need to go to bed. It's 4 o'clock. I ate dinner 30 minutes ago. Honey, don't you love webcam videos in a closet with a window? <laughs> oh, we do this in such a small room. This is just lovely. <laughs> oh. oh, yes, honey. Oh, yes. <laughs> I still love my gum. Oh, oh, let me get my head in there. I can't. That reminds me of old, old pinup magazine. <laughs> We tried. We yeah, tried. we tried. We're not professionals. Oh, that may have that was that was pretty rough. It was it was better the first time. Yeah, you should have seen us all it first. It was. It was one of those. <laughs> we were uncandid. And then we just tried to redo old stuff and it just didn't <laughs> disregard. <laughs> if you want to watch this video in its entirety, go head to youtube.com and search webcam for seniors one oh one and there you will find it. Hopefully in the first two links. It's about a three minute video and it is actually pretty funny. We've seen it all the way and mm -hmm. it's much funnier than us. <laughs> yeah, with our gum. We we can't recreate what they did, and the truth, good thing about it is that was all just real, no faking at all. Well, when we come back, we are going to talk about Amy Winehouse and Arnold Schwarzenegger and J Lo and Mark Anthony splitting, all recapping on what happened over the summer. Stay with us. We'll be back. Even an Iraq vet like me, who's in really good shape, needs good health care. Especially when it's top quality and convenient. <laughs> he and said, it's not just for men. In fact, aren't you a vet, Patricia? Yeah, I served in the Air Force. So why not come in today? When you check in, you'll get a full medical exam, first thing. Free for vets at the VA. So check us out and see you here. Up, college is hard. Down, those books are heavy. My sport is football, but my passion is education. So every year, I take promising high schoolers on a college tour to show them that higher education means a brighter future. My name is Namdi Asamoah. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. Find out how you can live United for Education. Give, advocate, volunteer. Go to liveunited.org. Do you wear this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out this chef, right? <laughs> right? That's so gay. That's really gay. <laughs> say that what don't say that something is gay when you mean that something is dumb or stupid it's insulting it's like if i thought this pepper shaker was stupid and i said man and this pepper shaker is so 16 year old boy with a cheesy mustache just saying when you say that's so gay do you realize what you say knock it off my name's reggie just recently my wife and i took in her sister's children and we already had four so I went from becoming a family man to a man with a bigger family. <clears throat> you can't eat love, so I don't know how I'm going to feed them tonight. How was that, Rich? I think I look more like Denzel. <laughs> That's cold, man. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org hunger and find your local food bank. Well, over the summer, we lost, I guess, a sister of soul, you could say. Amy Winehouse was found dead in her apartment in London. 
That's in love, girl. That's in love. That's in love. Can you tell? Yeah. They still haven't released the details of her. Of her. Um, even we went to black just to pay a moment of silence for Amy Winehouse. They still haven't gotten the, back the toxicology report. I heard anything. that she didn't have anything in her system. No, her parents, her mom and dad came out and said they have removed and said that she had been clean for quite a while before her death. Uh, it was just kind of sad that she had, uh, we were talking about before the show, the 27, uh, 27 mark. It's like mm -hmm. the curse with... Uh, like Kurt, Kurt Cobain, Cobain and Jimi, Jimi Hendrix. Hendrix and Janis Joplin. Yeah, it's just it's just weird that it affects people at such a young mm -hmm. age. Wasn't it Heath Ledger? Was he twenty seven as well? I'm he, not sure. I, I think no, he no, was no, older. He was older than that. I think so. But, but it's still just, too young. It's just yeah. awful that uh, people have to take these careers and um, you know they get into a, a lot of drugs and uh, just it's it's hard and they have a lot of a lot of scrutiny on them. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It's just it's just rough with all that pressure. And it, it's, it's strange, it's hard, because that pressure, part of it pushing, like, uh, is not exactly drug use, but is that uh, part of that image that they're trying to perpetuate? And I'm not saying that they rely solely on, I don't know exactly how I'm trying to say this, it's like but a it, there's a, like it's a pressure. It's a pressure. star, you have to go out. Yeah, that's the idea. And, and in the same vein, as, as a, a celebrity, you're supposed to maintain these, you know, you could be considered by some a hero. So it's like there's so, there's so much pressure in so many opposing directions. It, it, it's really I could, I mean, I can't imagine. I've never been under that, but I I cannot imagine just how much stress that that would push on you. On top of having to constantly create new material and all this, just so much to deal with. Yeah, I mean, working in the arts. Knowing how stressful it is being a student and juggling that, I couldn't imagine having all of that pressure from media and things, you know? Like, mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you do? Rest in love, Amy Winehouse. Rest in love. Rest in love. Mm. All right, so let's set up a scene. You're in a hotel with your mistress. What do you say to her? I am the governor <laughs> of California. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> No, it's not a tumor. That was a terrible. <laughs> I don't think I know what's going on. Right now. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. So over the summer, Arnold Schwarzenegger's affair was brought to light. Oh, fair warning. How do you cheat on Maria Shriver? Isn't oh, she with like super hotties, right? Ooh. She's a Kennedy. Why? Yeah. Why would you cheat on her? Now say what you want about the Kennedys. The Kennedy but she's a Kennedy. <laughs> she's a Kennedy. <laughs> say what you want, but you know, she's one of them. That's what I want to say about them. And they, they have scary voices. Yeah. And when they talk, it makes me nervous. But they're Kennedy. Because how do we they know also have that nice one night suits. she wasn't just like nice suits. They have really Arnold, nice suits. Real nice suits. <laughs> Arnold, I, I, people don't know that I'm a Kennedy. You need to have an affair. <laughs> you need to have an affair. Make me people realize I'm a Kennedy. <laughs> Make them realize my sex. She's proving her Kennedy. <laughs> She's proving her Kennedy ism. Now watching Kindergarten Cop is just never gonna be the same. Or Junior. No, yeah. Or Junior, Junior when he's pregnant, when he's right? Pregnant, I will never feel that empathy for him yeah. after I know he's just ever because who that's probably not even the redheaded the redhead lady's baby. No. After all <laughs> it, Junior. That could be anybody. Yeah. Maybe Danny DeVito. Well, all we can say is we'll be back. Alright, after this. <laughs> that's a good impression. Yeah, thank it you. was what we can all be energy savers. It's easy. Turn off lights. Use energy saving light bulbs. And turn off electronics and appliances when not in use. Make a change and we can really fly. Learn more at energy.gov slash kids. Cotton balls, duct tape, spoon, needle, thread, scalpel. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. of a car crash, three out of four kids are not as secure as they should be. 
because their car seats are not used correctly. But the latch system makes it easier to get it right and to hold your kids tight. Anchor, tether, latch. Learn more at safercar.gov. Arkansas State University, one howl of an experience. Text HOWL to 74700. You know, just like I promised, we're back. We're back here on What the How on ASU TV. Um, let's talk about uh, celebrity couples splitting up this summer. Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony split. Um, what do we think? What happened there? I mean, they look, they thought we, they seem like a good couple. Do we really care? Yeah, I do. <laughs> like, is that rude of me to say that? Not really. Here's the juicy yeah. gossip, though. Apparently, there was rumors going around that Mark Anthony was sleeping with Jada Pinkett Smith, who is Will Smith's wife. Oh. And they worked on a show together for uh, some network, some <laughs> cable network. One of them. What um, is Mark Anthony doing now? Like, um, what is he doing with his life? Well, he's eyes? no longer acting because his show got canceled. He was, he was an actor? What was, what was he doing before that? I didn't even know I don't who even he was. I didn't he? know he was a celebrity until I heard yeah. that it was a big deal that they were together. That he and still I yeah. either okay, I digress, but you've heard the term race face, right? When Ooh. You're, like you're kind of hairy. Oh, oh, hands. that's just <laughs> mean. <laughs> can I say that? He's scary. I guess you can say yeah. He, I, of course I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> you're perfectly allowed to say. <laughs> it. <laughs> All um, right. Well, we're going to move on because apparently Mark Anthony's rape face is causing me to move on. What the, yeah. what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? I guess I should say it. What Kardashians. The hell? Yeah. Ah, Kardashians. Once again. <sighs> what are you doing? They've been busy over the summer. What do they do? Doing I don't what? Know. Make the being. Being on E. Oh, yeah. That's their thing. <laughs> being on E. They're being on E. <laughs> no, they're <laughs> on something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't exactly know if it's E, but. Uh, we. <laughs> We? They're on We? So, I didn't know. Hey, you know, when you're on the E network and they pay you the big bucks, don't they? To do whatever you do, I guess. Apparently, Ryan Seacrest oh. is producing every member of this family in their own home television program. Oh, Lord. So, yeah. once they move out of the nest that is that of um, <laughs> Kris Jenner, who wants to change her name back to Kardashian. I have a question. Why do you know all of that? <laughs> I'm addicted. I can't stop. It traps me. Okay? Yeah, it's, it's like a net. It's a net. It's a net. It's late at night, and it's after rehearsal, and homework's done, and I'm just going through the channels, <laughs> and I get trapped on that show. On the Kardashian. You're keeping up with the Kardashians. I'm keeping up. You can't keep right. up with I the net. I should stop keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> I don't know sure. why I do that. It, it, we'll never know. So one of them got married. I don't know who any of these people uh, are. If you showed me a picture, Hollywood I'd be trash like, oh, is she's what I'm just gonna interesting. say. Is Kim. She made eighteen <laughs> she, knows course, it. Yeah. she made she knows eighteen it. million dollars off of her own wedding. How do you make money it off of like, a, it? Was, it was as pretty as the royal wedding. Okay? That's neat. how much money she put into it. And then she gave away like the photographic rights of everything and oh so my she gosh. made eighteen million dollars. And wasn't that wasn't there a special on E about that? Yeah, they're airing I mean, her wedding. You know it's love when I you make it a business laugh. venture. Yeah. Like you know it's the sure thing when you do that. They Don't should have called Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey and talked to them. <laughs> oh, like they would make weddings. any money. That's what I'm doing. Ninety eight degrees not thing. Money. <laughs> 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 the, a wedding is a mar it's a business contract. Yeah. It that's is. That's not that. Much like the king. I need to start doing well, things like this. I'm afraid that's all we've got for this episode of What the How, but there's only one thing we know for certain, and that's we'll be back next week, keeping up the crazy, keeping up the gossip, and I mean, we're not talking about the so we're going to keep up with this. We'll see you next time here on What the How.